So, I'm back again with a video. This time I decided to do something different. It's no longer football, no longer wrestling. It is a fragrance video. And for my first video back, I decided to do something uh, that has been talked about before a lot of time. Everybody has heard. Maybe I think a lot of people have actually even smelled this before. I'm talking about Tom Ford Black Orchid. This started from being um, a female fragrance. It has, uh, market, was marketed for a woman at first. But then everybody realized that it's not that uh, female like, it's more like unisex. Uh, somebody even, including myself, will uh, say it even uh, leans more on the masculine side. So this is a box, as you can see. Here on the back are the ingredients, on the top uh, the Tom Ford logo. It says the concentration, um, the size and everything. Here you have the batch code. And it opens like this, <clears throat> another Tom Ford logo here. And the bottle is in another box, if you like. It opens like this. And voila! Here is the fragrance, here is the bottle. It is a bottle, iconic uh, at this time, at this stage, you know. Everybody has seen it, I think. Here's how it looks. Again, uh, your information, size, concentration, and everything, even the batch. The back. The cap. Everything. The cup clicks into place. As you can see, it's safe to pick up from the cup. Now, what uh, matters the most for everybody, the scent. So the smell is very beautiful. I, I like it a lot. Even nowadays, when it's uh, March, closer to April, the temperatures are not that low anymore. They are starting to heat up. I still uh, think this makes a lot of sense. I mean, uh, if, especially um, like the evening or evening out or something like that, it still makes sense. Um, maybe not for a long time because when it's too, too hot outside, you don't have to wear this. It's, it's uh, too much. Now in terms of um, the notes, the top notes are truffle, uh, ylang ylang, black currant, bergamot, the middle notes, which basically means the heart of the fragrance. The top notes are, as you know, the you notes that you um, feel the first time, that you smell the first time at the beginning of the scent. Uh, the middle notes are black orchid, the tuberose and fruity notes, uh, and the base notes, which means uh, the base of the fragrance. The, the things that you oft, most often you smell uh, in the dry down are um, patchouli, incense, sandalwood, vanilla, vetiver and lotus. So a woody, very woody like uh, base with that incense which gives it a, a smoky vibe. Um, it has that a bit of smokiness and woodiness but it's mostly um, like a dark chocolate in my opinion. That truffle I think uh, takes care of that. It's um, like a dark chocolate with some flowers, but not made in a, a very feminine way. Uh, it um, it is made in a very unisex, I think. To, and uh, this is not only my opinion. Like people who smell this on me, think that this leans more masculine. Everybody has their opinion. I don't know. Uh, this uh, thing, uh, I think, best summarizes it because. It is beautiful in the winter, with uh, even when it's snowing, even when it's exactly like that outside, maybe not quite like that for those who live in Africa or something like that, but um, when, the, when it's snowing, when it's cold outside in the winter, amazing, amazing performance. Um, because I said performance, now I have to talk about the performance, which is very good, it is a very good performer, like above 10 hours, I think, maybe even more, but at the, that uh, mark, 10 hour mark, let's say, you don't uh, feel the fragrance anymore, so to speak. I mean, uh, you ha tend to take a shower, or at least I do, or um, you go to bed, you change your clothes, it doesn't... Uh, maybe the fragrance is probably still there, you know, but um, it doesn't matter after that. I mean, if a uh, fragrance is performed 10 hours with a strong projection, because this projects quite strongly, you know, in the sea, as the bubble around you is uh, quite impressive. You don't actually need um, 
more than which it probably does because I remember one time even after a shower in the next morning I felt it you know so if you want to know that so the performance is no issue the sea the, the, the longevity projection everything is not a problem this is a very good fragrance from that uh, point of view um, as I said before when I would recommend this in the colder weather this uh, makes sense to be worn in the night, night out, or even a, a date night, I would say. This has um, a, a very strong opinion about it, like, especially if a man wears it. This is not like your survive or like, uh, I don't know, Le de Chanel or Yisamara, where everybody will like it, you can wear it everywhere and nobody will, uh, will think that, that you smell good, yeah, but uh, won't be offended or won't have a strong opinion about it. This is nutty, this is quite the opposite. Um, people will have a strong opinion about you, people will think something about you, you know. Uh, when I move my arm, it projects very uh, strongly. They will have an opinion about it. Uh, this is, as I said, not a, a not an easy to wear scent, you know. It's not, um, I would say, for teenagers. Mm, maybe above. 25, 15, gives that feeling, you know, of a mature man, but you can wear it, I, I mean, even if you are 15 and you have the the strength, so to speak, and the personality and the character to do it, you can do it. I mean, uh, this is the thing with the fragrances, um, if you have that uh, uh, character, that uh, personality, you can pretty much wear this uh, anytime you want, <laughs> like, but uh, in, as I said, in the summer it doesn't make sense. Again with the scent. The scent is right down, it, uh, at least in my opinion, it uh, keeps that chocolatey vibe. It's like, a, if you can imagine, a chocolate, a dirty chocolate, like an earthy chocolate. You go to the garden and you drop your chocolate in the dirt, so to speak. But um, that, those flowers and those incense, that incense, maybe some, to some extent the woods and the fruits, um, make that wood not to, to feel very, I don't know, wet or... Um, Something like that is not a dried uh, earth, you know. It's a, a zesty earth, if that makes some sense. Uh, in my mind, it makes. Um, so that is um, pretty much it with the scent. It's somewhat linear. It doesn't change that much because from the first time you spray, it, as I did, um, is that vibe? Is that uh, chocolatey, earthy, somewhat floral vibe? Um, it has some sweetness, but uh, not that much, and it's a very dark sweetness, you know, like um, dark chocolate or something like that. That comes from the ruffle, I'm sure. Um, and the final uh, thing I want to talk about is, uh, is it still worth it in 2023? The answer, in my opinion, is yes, it's still uh, worth it. still works in this time, even though it is somewhat played out because a lot of people buy it. I am shocked, uh, I'm, I have been shocked to see how many people actually wear this. I mean, yeah, it is uh, normal like to wear, you know, I don't know, Sauvage, Eros, uh, stuff like that. But this, even here when I, when I live in Romania, it's um, a lot of people wear it, you know. This is not a bad thing because it means a lot of people appreciate it, you know. And a lot of people appreciate to smell it uh, on others. So yeah, it's still uh, uh, worth it. If uh, I were to give you no know, a recommendation, I would for this fragrance. Um, as I said, be careful when you wear it. But in the fall, uh, winter, and early spring, it's, uh, it's a very good scent. So that was my video. Um, for like two years, I think I started to collect some fragrances and um, I think why not to make a video and to share my opinion. Let me know if you liked it, if you want to see another video. As, I, as you can see, I have a, lot, a little bit of stuff to work with. Um, so yeah, until next time, bye.